Now, you know where now Novotel is? That yes. was St. Moritz. Yes. Now, next door was a massive, massive dance. Yep. It was Earl's Court. Yep. Yeah. And, but, but the dance was called Palm Grove for some reason. Was that upstairs? Oh, the, upstairs, downstairs, down everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. There was okay. four different floors, four different dancers. Like all of what, like it's all, yeah. yeah, that four, say, or oh, Latin down there. Modern was a massive room, massive, yeah. massive. And then up in the, say, uh, uh, there was a, um, a jive and jitterbug. That's right. And a mezzanine. Yes, I remember yeah. the mezzanine. Oh, Jesus, sensational. Yeah. Yeah. Because I did some, I used to do, well, I used to go to bands there and also I did a couple of fashion parades in that space. And the guys used to talk about, I think during the war, they used to do jitterbug up. They did, on yeah. The and across the road, you know where the palace was and got burnt out, the yes. palace? That was a Palais de Dance. Ah, okay. at Next door to the Palais Theatre. Wow. Palais de Dance was a, a big hall. Yeah. And I remember going there for New Year's Eve and stuff like that. But there was a couple of... Um, now, Phil Harris was an American uh, singer. And he was, he played there at times and stuff like that. Yeah. Just huge. Yeah. yeah. And across the road from uh, Luna Park and uh, Luna Park and the Palais Theatre was a, a say a sort of a, a milk bar American type called Candy Corner. Uh, yeah. K-A-N-D-Y, <laughs> K-O-R-N-E-R. It was just a magic time, yeah. really was. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and, and the bars, the, 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 see, because I think I mentioned to you, did I mention to you, was nude bathing. Ah, uh, was it? Yeah, the, the men's side was, was that? yeah, that was where it is the now. 50s. Yeah, the 50s. in the 50s. Wow. Oh, and the late 40s. The late 40s. Yeah. I've seen some of the photos because they had an exhibition called Splash. Yeah. So it was all so it was nude bathing for nude men Nude bathing for men. No, not, not no. The, no, the other one was mixed. Yeah. Right. But the nude bathing, there's millions there. You didn't have to be nude. Yeah. And like a, because it was um, the males and we're only, say, kids and whatever, yeah. we go in there. There was a 10 metre board that was that deep. Wow. Yeah. And that went right out into the water. Wow. 10 metre board it was. But there'd be just, oh, during the day, there'd be a lot of, say, uh, people from the racing world, just lays and down, a lot of bookmakers, oh, you know, all that sort of stuff, yeah. There was stacks and stacks and stacks of people, yeah. One fellow got killed there, he was stabbed in the heart, but they think it was, a, first of all, they thought it was murder, they think it was a uh, stingray, and I saw stingrays in there. Because they, they'd, okay. yeah, like, uh, I don't yeah, know if yeah. stingrays can swim sideways, but they got, or may not have even gone. Oh, yeah, because they had a fence around. So yeah. One of those, oh, yeah. yeah, big, oh, yeah, huge. What? But that, when I'm saying, there was just wall to wall people. How amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. That, well, I suppose, yeah, so, yeah, in a day like today, it'd be good. Get oh, it. yeah. Well, I, I can remember, I actually used to uh, uh, work for Racehorse Trainer, and, and I came down with him and a couple other people, and there was just stacks of racing people. Right. Yeah, stacks of racing people, yeah. Yeah, that was a nude bathing. Wow. And then as I say, the mixed bathing was just a normal bathing, but they were, uh, <clears throat> as I say, it might have been stretched out to 100 metres, I suppose, something like yeah. that. And the mixed bathing probably didn't go quite as far. It might have been 20 metres less than the, the other one. And yeah. it was in the sea? In the sea. Yeah, was yeah. there, a, was there Not like the bars are now. No, no, no. was no. there an inside one as well? No, 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 okay. no. And there was a hall next to it, and I forget what. Yeah, there, it was actually a nightclub, probably twenty years ago, and it used to be called Leonard's. And then there was Bo Bojangles, wasn't That's it? That's what it was. Pretty rough. That's what I was. Yeah, well, Bojangles finished up being there after Leonard's on a Sunday afternoon was sort of a jazz club. Oh, okay. Yeah, and a fella called Don Baker, who was an American uh, DJ on Three XY. Yes. Which was uh, yeah, yeah. was which basically was a, yeah a different one. yeah, and I can remember oh god they had some terrific artists there. There used to be a regular band there, and I remember two of the fellas' names, Ronnie McGowan and Tommy Spencer, mm -hmm. yeah, and they'd have different people who might have been sitting in the audience get up and might play piano and something like that. I saw a lot of things like that there. That's great. Yeah, well, we better we better get this on. Yeah, film. and <laughs> oh the dance on the Saturday night. Oh, it was just a magic time. And you'd walk in the place and Freddie Thomas was the band, it was his band, and June Carey was a singer. Sensational. And she married, actually, Jimmy Gallagher, who was a star AFL player for Footscray. Yep, and Josh, she was just magic, but the whole place was. And there'd be big-name jitterbuggers there, and you'd be just like as though, hey, superstars here tonight. Oh, Chocolate Bazin's here, or Billy Freeman's here, or Mick Arlen, or... Um, 
the Reynolds brothers, Darcy and Tuppy, and, and like, and they would just dance, and people stand around and just watch them. It was just an unbelievable thing. But the girls had to be a Hollywood star to get into the place. You realise that? And the fellas had to wear the suit and the tie. There was no loudish behaviour. Never, ever saw any problems, because obviously drugs were not around then, and you weren't allowed to drink anywhere near a dance hall. The police used to patrol, and if you were caught drinking with probably a mile, that was fine, like that. But the boys had to wear a suit and tie. Nobody got in without a suit and tie. That's an absolute fact. And, oh, and the dancers were around, well, as I said, uh, the Pallady dance, uh, they didn't have a Saturday night dance, but the other one just had, and I don't know exactly the numbers, but if I said 1,200, 1,500 people would be there, that's how it was. And St. Moritz being next door to it as well, because you've got so many things happening in St. Kilda at that particular time. There's probably a little bit of shady business from time to time. Not that that ever, most people wouldn't even understand that, I suppose, but uh, there were a lot of girls and probably uh, sly grogs and things like that. Not that, as you know, I never tasted alcohol, so that was not one of the things that ever, me, ever came, brought me down here. But it was just one of those sort of places where you just went, because there was so much life, and you could uh, see people, no matter what time of night, there'd be stacks of people getting around. You know, it was just really a special, special place. So I was glad to come and live here. It's cleaned up and it's great now, is it even better, better, if it mm -hmm. comes to a point. But when you're growing up as a teenager, you'll remember those things, particularly when you've got five or six louts in the car coming down to terrorise everybody and chase the girls and stuff like that. Uh, it was uh, just brought back so many great memories.